Hi, and welcome to Sparkle Chart. So I'm going to kick off the kissing class with a look at masks and stencils and what's the difference between the two. Now, all you really need to know about masks and stencils is kind of like a game of peekaboo. One conceals and the other reveals. So let's go and have a look at that. So let's talk about masks and stencils. And this Donna Downey uh, stencil mask is the easiest way that I can explain it. Now, you've got the one piece of plastic with two birds cut out. If I lay this little bird over my black background and add paint, this little bird is concealing and protecting the area underneath it. This is a mask. It conceals and protects. So you'll end up with colour around the shape. If I put the other piece onto the same bit of cardstock and apply colour, it will create the inside of the shape. So a stencil, which is what this is, reveals a shape. Now stencils come in all shapes and sizes and materials and you don't have to buy a bought one, you can make your own. Now this is another stencil. If I apply colour through the open areas of the stencil, I will create something that looks like a number one stencil. It's revealing an image. If I apply paint through the openings in this stencil, I will get the text saying the art of possibility. I've used this stencil called Summer and it's from Balza Designs to create the base image for my girl. So it's revealing a face. Another example, I've used Jane Davenport's uh, face shape from the artist seller to draw the outline of a face onto my journal page before I colour it in. Again, revealing a face, it's a stencil. Now this one I've done something a little different on. I've used a mask. Let me make sure you can see this. So I've used a mask and I've used it to trace the outline of the images onto my page here and then I've coloured around them and inside them just for something different. So this is another idea, stencils within stencils. It's called stendoodling or stentangling. And for this page, I've created a beautiful background and then I've used this deer as the mask and added color around it to create that negative space shape. So again, a very simple page. And then I've of course added some embellishments and given the deer little eyes and whatnot. Mask conceals, stencil reveals a shape. You don't actually have to use a store-bought mask. For this background, I've used a piece of lace. And you can see that it has protected the area behind it. So it's concealed the white paper from the sprays as I've added them over the top, leaving this beautiful image. So have a look around your house. You can use all sorts of fantastic things as masks and stencils. Think about how cool a page would be if you were using leaves as the mask and getting leaf shapes. I'm so doing that at some point. Now the other thing I've got in here is this awesome little bird. And I've cut this bird from a masking film. It's called Mask It and it's from Express It. And then I've just made this beautiful watercolour page around it. And you can tell by that shimmer. <gasps> I've used my Lindy's, haven't I? Yeah, I've used my Magicals. So this is what I'm going to show you in the next clip. So stay tuned. We'll make this together. Now, this is just so that you can see what I'm talking about in motion. So I have the stencil, which reveals a shape. I'm spritzing it with some water. And then I'm going to add touches of colour. And this is Lindy's Stamp Gang Magicals. Now I've just got three colours here. 
And the trick is to try and do it quickly enough so it doesn't dry. So as we discussed, the stencil reveals a shape. Now, for the reverse, I'm going to put the mask down here. And if I add magicals or whatever it might be over the top, you will find that your mask conceals the shape. Now, because this is not stuck down onto my background, I'm going to get a little bit of color bleeding under here. But for our intents and purposes, you'll get the idea. So as you can see, the stencil reveals the shape, the mask protects it. So concealed, revealed, mask, stencil. I might even make this into a page. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give me a like. And if you'd like to see more from Sparkle Tart, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a product list below the video in the description, and you can connect with me via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or Google+. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.